Hello my dear students, welcome to our environmental science EVS class. That's a standard four. Okay, so this is the part one. Okay, so this is divided into part one, part two. In here class is the part one. These are the chapters in the part one. In here we are starting the first chapter fields and forest. Okay, so we can start. Okay, my dear students, this is the first chapter, fields and forest. Okay, you see a picture in this first page. There is a conversation in between some organism in an environment. We can hear very carefully. Okay, the fish asked to squirrel, why don't you come down and play with me? On hearing this, the frog laughed and teased. Ha ha, imagine the squirrel's condition if he gets into the water. The squirrel was not ready to give in. But he replied, can you climb a tree and jump along its branches like I do? On hearing this, the frog quickly replied, who can dive and turn in water like the fish? On this paragraph, we can understand all organisms have their own speciality and their own physical characters. The example is here. The squirrels can climb a tree and jump along its branches. Okay, but the fishes cannot. But the fishes can dive and turn in water very well. Okay, so there is a different. Okay, I am repeat that each and every organism in the earth, they have their own features or they have physical characters. Avered the title of Korsu Protega the world. A Protega the Galana, Avere each two part in the other, Givica, Sahai Kinada. Okay, three lu, Ipamabana, Chitrathurum, Kumanaslaka, Kadina. Okay, next we can discuss about this picture. There's a two fishes and one boat. There is any similarities based on their shape. And then there are three shape and then there are three lu similarity in the other. Yes, one similarity is the the boat like shape with a both ends pointed enables the fish to move through water. The fins also help to fish to swim in water. Yes, there is the the boat and the two fishes are similar in based on the shape. Yes. And that is the boat in a polyne and endulum in a pointed on the day fish in day. Other one of the name, water load in the Sadikim, Then the fin also help to swim in water and the finum in the inunder, Epar in the fish in a swim in the inunder, Sahai in the day. Okay, so these type of special characters present in all organs. Okay, so these specialities help to live in its dwelling place this type of specialities or this type of peculiarities that help it to live in its dwelling place is called adaptation okay that's an important one adaptation okay that's the three little symbol on your organism synonym other GV kuna stalangal, other dwelling place, other GV can every day on other dwelling place nor another. Our place lay other than a GV can theratil karyuna, pratega, subvisha the girl, pratea, peculatis are condom, our organisms in a diricum. Adene and the bar another adaptation in the bar another. My dear students, are you observe a pond and a paddy field in your locality? What type of plants and animals did you? Notice the yes, we can see in a pond that's a lot of fishes and it's a frog. Yes, that's type of 
organs in that type of organs yes in paddy we can see that the grass and lot of the agricultural plants yes okay so in here next we are discussing about what type of organisms are living on land and living in water there is some examples of so living on land there is examples are banyan tree and mongoose and living in water the examples are water lily and frog what are the other organisms living on the land yes there is a grass and the different type of trees and next is the yes there is a goat and cow etc and living in water there is a uh, lotus and fishes and the uh, small water microorganisms are the okay adha ithre illu nammude land ilum adhe pole water ilum jeevikuna pala tarathulla organisms nammude chittu padakkunde adana idu namukku endu cheynadu understand cheyan kaniyadu okay okay next we can discussing about water lily and lotus the water lily and lotus live in water what are the adaptations help them to survive in water yes, there is a lot of adaptations in here the first one is they don't decay in water this is the first adaptation and the second one is it covering by a wax coating okay and the third one in their leaves there is a lot of air spaces that help to floating on the water or we can uh, another way to uh, say like uh, the help to buoyancy okay adayidu ee parayna nalaka endilo orikkan the dk cheythu povilla next parayna endana adu oru wax oru melugu pole oru aavaranam kondu endi irunna adine cover cheyidittunde next parayna endana adil tharala air space ullathu kondu enna adine vellathinu mogal endiya sadhikkum float cheythu kadakkan endiyum sadhikkum ithreyana adine adaptations enna parayunnathu okay okay next is the adaptation of protoids what are the adaptations okay it can move on land and water so what uh, what uh, what are the type of adaptations l2 this yes the first one is slimming body okay and so it's like a uh, slimming okay and next is a so or like legs okay what is or or is a type of equipment that is used in the boat okay for the movement okay so next is the shell all are know about the shell of tortoise that help to protect from the predators alle adayathu onnathu parayna slimmy body oru endana valulpulla tarathilla body irikkalle next endana or like legs nu parannu kenja or ennu parannu kenja nammala ee thoni ipo thorayum undavile adhe pole thanneulla oru shape aanu adinte kaal nallathu next one endana adinte shell ennu parayunnathu adu arayan thodu predators adayathu ee parayna shatrukalil ninnum adinu olinjirikkan endu cheyunnunde sahayikkana shell ithreyaanu adinte adaptations ennu parayunnathu okay so these adaptations help the tortoise to live on land and in water and next is the frog the what are the adaptations of frog it's a same as slimy body and next it's like like is a special uh, uh, say physical character that is a web like uh, which means the all the each uh, fingers are uh, in connection in between that's a web like and next is it can easy to respire um, in la- both land and in water okay that's a uh, respiration is done in skin and also the lungs adha idu next parayana frog adha table kurichittana adha etre illu endana slimmy body thaniyana ivide pin adinte kaal nu parana web like structure aanu le ore viralu endana adu koot adha idu namukku ara web cheyidittana le endana adu connection undu adhe pole thana last parayana endana frog ne adu evada veyanga undengilo adine endiya sadhikkum shwasikkan adha respire cheyan sadhikkum both skin iludeyum adhe pole lungs iludeyum okay etre aanu indine kurichu parayala Several organisms living in and around ponds, trees, and fields. These organisms need air, water, soil, and sunlight to live. What is the meaning of this? Yes, let's say frog, squirrels, earthworm, and snake, 
it's like this several organisms living in our surroundings which means our surrounding there's a presence of ponds trees and fields so that in trees they say lot of organisms are living and also the ponds and fields this type of organism or all the organism need air which means oxygen and water soil and sunlight that means two plants okay to live okay the plants and animals can survive only help each other okay living and not living things are dependent on each other the one example is the living things uh, the example is human and the non living things this example is water okay in here we cannot uh, survive without the non living thing that is the water okay that's a okay so the living things are called biotic factor and non living things are called abiotic factors so the examples for biotic factor is plants humans animals etc and the example for abiotic factors are air water soil sunlight stone rock etc okay adai ithre ullu nammalku ivada jeevikkanamengile aarekke venam and non living things um venam adhe pole thana arum venam nammal aayittulla living things um venam okay ivide jeevan ullaveye adan living things avaye biotic factor onnum jeevan illathaveye adayade non living things avaye abiotic factors ennu kodi endiyunu parayunu living things in example aanu endana humans adhe pole thana animals plants etc non living adayade jeevan illathaveye adayade abiotic factors in example are the stone air water soil sunlight etc okay i think you can understand this type of this content okay okay next is the ecosystem the ecosystem is a particular place that include the mutually dependent biotic and abiotic factors okay adayad or particular place le ബയോട്ടിക്കും അബയോട്ടിക് ഫാക്ടേഴ്സും മ്യൂച്വലി എന്ത് ചെയ്യുന്നുണ്ട് കണക്ട് ചെയ്തിട്ടുള്ളതിനെയാണ് എന്ത് പറയുന്നത് എക്കോസിസ്റ്റം എന്ന് എന്ത് ചെയ്യുന്നത് പറയുന്നത് ഓക്കെ ദ ഫോറസ്റ്റ് ഈസ് എ വൈഡസ്റ്റ് എ ബിഗ് എക്കോസിസ്റ്റം ഓക്കെ സോ ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് വെരി ഇമ്പോർട്ടൻറ്റ് ടു പ്രിസേർവ് ദ ഫോറസ്റ്റ് ബിക്കോസ് ഇൻ ഫോറസ്റ്റ് ലോട്ട് ഓഫ് ഡിഫറെൻറ്റ് ടൈപ്പ് ഓഫ് പ്ലാൻസ് ആനിമൽസ് ദാറ്റ്സ് മീൻസ് ദ ബയോട്ടിക് ആൻഡ് അബയോട്ടിക് ഫാക്ടേഴ്സ് is the okay so have you noticed the different ecosystem in your locality this example is the hills bushes sacred groves that means a cow the other examples are forest ponds rivers and a group of rocks etc these are also the different type of ecosystems many type of human activities leads to harmness to the ecosystem what are the type of human activities okay let us discuss so here is the first one is pollution you know that the pollu- what is pollution and next one is burning of fossil fuels and deforestation the deforestation meaning the cutting of trees in the forest and mining mining is the the collecting of uh, or explosion in the rock uh, rock areas or that means the uh, hill uh, next one is use of ke- excessive chemical pesticides which means uh, in agricultural there, there is a use of a huge amount of chemical pesticide for the killing of pest adha krishi idangalilla ആക്രമകാരികളായിട്ടുള്ള ജന്തുക്കളെ കൊല്ലാൻ വേണ്ടിയിട്ട് യൂസ് ചെയ്യുന്നതാണ് ദ കെമിക്കൽ പെസ്റ്റിസൈഡ് ആൻഡ് ദ ലാസ്റ്റ് വൺ ഈസ് ബേണിങ് പ്ലാസ്റ്റിക്സ് ഓക്കെ ദീസ് ആർ ദ ഹാംഫുൾ ആക്ടിവിറ്റീസ് ഓഫ് ഹ്യൂമൻസ് ഓക്കെ അറ്റ് ലാസ്റ്റ് വി ക്യാൻ ഡിസ്കസ് അബൌട്ട് വാട്ട് ആർ ദ ടൈപ്പ് ഓഫ് ആക്ടിവിറ്റീസ് ഹെൽപ്പ് ടു പ്രൊട്ടക്ട് അവർ എൻവയോൺമെൻറ്റ് ഓക്കെ വി ക്യാൻ അബ്സർവ് ദിസ് പിക്ചർ യെസ് എ വൺ ബോയ് ഈസ് പ്ലാൻഡ് എ plant okay what are the other activities for protect our environment okay so here is the activities to protect environment okay hope you understand this chapter okay so anyway goodbye